Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 3 as the German Empire. So, we have the industrialists wanting us to push, excuse me, trying to readjust my seat, uh, wanting us to enact poor laws, uh, which is not something I'm exactly keen on doing given the opportunity, uh, but it is something that we will probably end up doing because it's got a fair bit of support. We are still waiting for a bunch of these barracks to finish being built, okay. Uh, that is estimating four months for the construction queue to clear out. My timer started. Um, our truce with the Free States of America has ended, which actually on that note, there we go, that does now show here. But yes, we would have to go to war with the Free States of America, which we can do. I'd rather not if I had the opportunity, but I'll survive. Luckily, we do have a Navy that should enable us to be able to do this, I believe. Let me, you know, double, double check. Yeah, we have a Navy of 90. Um, let's actually, I think, bring them back into a port. Where they should be, technically speaking. Um, but we're going to hold off on that a little bit. Mostly just because we're still rebuilding the army after switching to... <sighs> annoyingly and unfortunately switching to... National Militia. Now, the one advantage that National Militia has is that potentially, can't promise this, but potentially, it would save us money during peacetime because we're only going to be spending money on the cavalry and artillery rather than needing to also spend a bunch of money on maintaining a standing infantry army. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and I think slap that on there as yes, I will pass that. Ooh. Japan is improving their relations. Currently friendly and their attitude towards me is genial. That is wonderful. Japan, I am so happy that you love me. I really am. Because potentially, if you ever decide to, you know, invade mainland Asia, we could potentially have a lot of fun. You just kind of have to do it. And unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like the kind of thing you're going to do at this point. If I'm being completely honest. But nonetheless, I can hope it'll happen eventually. Probably not. But I can still hope for it. It's the most important thing. Admittedly, with that, I do wonder about maybe it being worth subsidizing our military industry again. I don't know for certain, though, if that's really a worthwhile thing. Japan's going to keep doing that, and it's going to be a bit annoying. And this will improve productivity. Decrease your balance. That's fine with me. Improve your productivity. I don't think I have anything else to really build. Nope, not really. Ooh. Finland is having a yet another capitalist revolt. I don't know which number this one is. Because they seem to just keep doing it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Radical Columbia. Radical Columbia. I've got plans. If you'd be willing to let me support you. Fortunately, it doesn't seem very likely that you will. 
But if you did, I have options. You give me Panama for support. I would be perfectly content with that. Um, unfortunately, I cannot have you promise me uh, territory that is not currently yours, which personally I think is silly. I personally think that is very silly. I think you should be able to say, hey, I know you're in the middle of a civil war or, you know, one's about to kick off. Uh, I will support your side in the civil war if you promise me the other side's land. I don't see why I can't do that. It seems silly to me because if they win, especially in this case where their goal is to annex Colombia, that they would own the ter they would then proceed to own the territory that I want to take. Paradox, come on. Think about it. I don't I don't know how you code it, but it just seems logical. I don't know why it doesn't already work this way outside of maybe it's too difficult to code. But logically speaking to me, it makes perfect sense that I should be able to talk to Radical Colombia and say, give me Panama and I will support you in your war against the Colombian government. Just seems obvious to me. Hell, I'm sure you can probably find a million examples of that happening historically. <laughs> so just even more reason to do it. Outside of, again, I guess maybe it's too hard to code potentially. Again, that's the only thing I can think of is that maybe it's too hard to code. Because it really just seems like a pretty obvious thing to do. God. We will not be rolling in the dough once I'm finally done paying off all this interest. But the thing is dealing with all that interest. I will also be rolling in the dough once I take over Panama. Because then we'll be able to have a second... Um, canal company for a free 50,000 tax income, which is always great to have. Though I will need to research some more technology before I can actually get a fourth company. I need to get corporate governance. Okay, yep. Japan's going to be a bit annoying to me, though, with the constant. Japan is improving relations. Japan has stopped improving relations. Ooh, ooh, damn. What's going on here? Oh, ooh, big war. France has decided to back Burma in as far as i can tell maintaining their independence i it does not look like they got anything out of it oh no they are they are taking something i don't know where the hell this is oh Okay. I'm a little bit confused as to why that's in play at all, but okay. Oh, because apparently it's a puppet of England. Or Great Britain, excuse me. Okay, that's a bit weird, but whatever. This war is all kinds of... Okay, I mean... What, kind, how, what are we looking at here, out of curiosity? In terms of military sizes in total. Interestingly, Burma is still worried. I think it's okay. It's because France is not actually that big, militarily speaking. Which, granted, is kind of my fault because I split off a country. Okay, this is like another 60 battalions France could have potentially had. Would those 60 battalions make a big difference? Probably not, but nonetheless, that's another 60 battalions they could have potentially had. So my question here is, is there anything I could get out of this war if I were to decide to intervene on Burma's side? 
I could ask to conquer states, which is, I think, a terrible idea because of infamy. Um, I could ask to transfer subjects. What do we have for options? Ooh. Ooh, I mean, I can't take Canada. It's just far too much infamy, but it would be fun. It would be funny to do it. Um, we could take Manchuria. I don't think I really have an interest in that, honestly, but we could do it, technically, just for the hell of it. Uh, we could also take stuff in Africa. Could take British East Africa. Which would give us a good starting point for, you know, colonizing Africa. I wanted to. Although in many ways, I would much rather take Egypt. But Egypt is unfortunately not an option. Which is very sad, actually. You're a protector. Interestingly, I don't seem to... Oh, there it is. But you really don't want to do it. Because you're antagonistic towards me. Huh. Do I dump some... Well, I mean, I've got over almost 2,000 diplomatic influence. So I might as well... Maybe dump a little bit into Egypt, maybe get them to, you know, like me, and we can potentially support their independence. I'd also, in some ways, kind of like to do the same with the Ottomans, if given the opportunity. I'm just not a big fan of the Ottomans being a Russian puppet, honestly, more than anything else. I don't care if the Ottomans are powerful. I just don't want them to be a puppet of Russia if I can avoid it. Oh, I'd actually be willing to support Ottoman independence if the opportunity arose. Um... Oh, okay. That's why Belgium was showing there. It's just because Belgium has the option to get involved that they felt so inclined. Unfortunately, I would not get anything that I cared about. If you were willing to become my subject, I might be inclined to support you, but you refuse to do that, so I have no reason to support you. At least, that's my mentality on it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. See, I would love to get you to... I need Denmark to have another revolution. If they could be so kind. And maybe I can get something out of it, such as, you know, a Danish puppet. I would like that. We can integrate them peacefully then. I don't really care to go to war with Denmark for it. What's this? Oh, advocating for closed borders. Um, is that so? Deny them a printing license. Somehow support goes up quite a bit doing that. I, okay. Yeah, I don't want to conquer Denmark through war, mostly because I wouldn't mind taking over Greenland and Iceland. Are they useful? I mean, not really, honestly. It's just... It'd be weird for Denmark to exist up here. More than anything else. Oh my god, look at that money. It is flowing in. Oh, so happy. So, so happy. Uh, we could potentially lower taxes, but I'm not doing that. Not until the interest is paid off, which is going to take 50 years. But, you know, <laughs> we're working on it. I'm going to tell Burma that I would be inclined to support them. But they need to give me something. I'm not going to tell them what. It is up to them to figure it out. Uh, 
Anti-German Association in the Free States of America. That's fine with me. Looks like Burma is not too interested. Shame for them. That's going to be an interesting war. And I feel like most of it's probably going to get fought in Africa. Because that's where they have a few common borders. Not a ton. Booming oil industry, always nice. Get every drop from those wells. Okay, we got that as well. Treasury bonds from the petite bourgeoisie, uh, which I don't really feel like pissing off all of a sudden. School should teach them to speak the proper language. Ah, uh, yeah, Radical Columbia is going to lose that. That's not too surprising. God damn, look at all that money. Jesus Christ. We're saving so much money. The question is, how much is this screwing over the uh, population? Because if memory serves me correctly, I believe soldiers are classed as lower strata. Uh, yep. Um, we're probably missing out on some officers as well. Because we don't have as much in the way of a standing military. I really, I really do kind of want to get rid of Moldova. Uh, yeah, this needs to be addressed. Okay, there we go. We got poor laws. How much is this costing us? Uh, nothing yet. Let's give it a week to tick over. 5,000. Okay, not too bad. We'll survive, I think. Um, I would need to build... Oh, well, I do already need to build more anyway, actually. Okay, I need more bureaucracy. Let's see. Government administration. Who is low on taxes? Technically nobody. Technically nobody. So where's the cheapest place that I can build more? That's, I think, enough for now. That's fine with me. I'm going to wait for the Civil War to end, I think, before I go to war go mostly just because i just don't care to deal with it more than anything else <laughs> okay so uh france and britain are busy fighting one another um what's going on here oh i guess france is trying to cross the straits of gibraltar into gibraltar uh they are losing horridly so uh, that's not going to be happening for them what do we got going on over here? Uh, Yunnan is being conquered. That's not too surprising. Um, Burma is perfectly fine for now until Yunnan gets conquered by uh, Britain. Uh, Free States of America, are you involved in any wars right now? The answer to that is a no, unfortunately. That's fine with me. We'll survive. Let's go ahead and I want you to give me Panama. I demand Panama. I have a much larger standing army than you. Let's just note this. I have a much larger standing army than you. And it's even more once I add in my conscripts. So, Free States America, you sure you want to do this? We'll see. Okie dokie. Now, do I really have anybody I necessarily care to invite? Not really. Also, interestingly, I do like that France is apparently conciliatory towards me. I didn't mention it before, but it is an interesting thing to me, considering how often we've gotten into fights with one another. But more power to you, France. <laughs> um, I don't care to take Colombia as a subject that is just irrelevant to me. We could liberate Colombia if we felt so inclined. Um, but I think I'd be more inclined to probably take war reps. Or at least claim that I want war reps. 
Do I actually care for them? Not really. Neither of them are particularly powerful countries where getting 10% of their... Um... Treasury is really all that important to me. Or 10% of their tax income, rather. Like, how much does... Can I find that information anywhere? I assume I can't. I can only get your GDP. I don't think I can find, you know, your tax income or anything like that, unfortunately. So I don't know how much money you're getting in taxes. It's probably not enough to really matter to me in the grand scheme of things, though. Uh, I think realistically, I'm probably going to just do what we've done earlier in the campaign, which was claim that I want war reps. In this case, I'm probably going to claim them against Colombia because that'll hopefully get the free states of America to decide, oh, you just want to screw over Colombia? That's fine with us. So we'll say, give me that, and I'm going to go ahead and raise the first army. The first core commando, as well as Razor Conscripts. Ooh, you're wanting a liberate Pomerania and Slovakia, and you yeah, know, that ain't happening, buddy. That ain't happening. And my hope is that because you're worried, you will be inclined to back down at the very end. We'll see how that plays out. I would love it if you actually back down. It would save me the trouble. And luckily, most of the other countries are kind of busy doing other stuff, so they're probably less inclined to get involved in a war. Interestingly, I could sway Colombia itself away from the Free States of America by saying, I will support your independence. Which I think is an interesting option. But both of our war goals screw over Colombia, so that'd be kind of a funny thing. Hey, Colombia, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to declare war on you for Panama, and I'm going to want war reps off of you. But in exchange, I will also grant you your independence from the Free States of America. I feel like their government should probably look at that and be like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> that's, that's kind of a shitty deal, if we're honest. Oh. Okay, we're conciliatory, but apparently our relations are poor? Yeah, okay, apparently we are hostile with France. Oh, okay, France, I think we can be friends, because you're conciliatory towards me. Let's see about improving relations with you. Uh, will I consider maybe possibly swaying the Colombians to back me in a war that takes their land in exchange for their freedom? Again, it makes no sense. And they would back me. They would literally switch sides to give me Panama in exchange for their independence. It makes no fucking sense. I think we'll make that decision depending upon what happens. I think that's what we'll do. We will make that decision depending upon what happens. Also, upgrade the army. And let's get corporate governance going. Because uh, I would like to get this all started as soon as possible. Negative 28. I think part of the thing is going to depend upon if Italy gets involved. And Italy's not very powerful, luckily for us. As long as Italy stays out of this, I think we'll be okay. I mean, granted, I think we'll be okay either way. It's just, you know, if they stay out of it, it saves us a lot of trouble.
because I'm not needing to then fight in Europe as well. I can just focus all my attention down here in the Americas. Come on. Back down. Back down. You're at negative 35. Back down. Okay, apparently you're deciding you just want to take a whole bunch of other shit as well now all of a sudden. Okay. More power to you. I wish I could see your infamy. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can. Roughly. Uh, apparently you are reputable because none of the stuff you're taking actually costs infamy. Which I guess is accurate, yes, technically speaking. Okay, you know what, Columbia? I will give you your independence in exchange for... Well, assuming this... Okay, so I'm going to make a save just because on the off chance the game decides to get funky on us. And decides that, oh, because you gave Colombia their independence and they switched to your side, you're no longer able to take Panama from them as part of the war goal. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, that suddenly flips. Um, yep, nope, I do in fact lose the ability to... I think that's bullshit, personally. I really do, so we're gonna we're gonna load that save. I think that's bullshit. That me telling Colombia, hey, I will support your independence results in them losing <clears throat> results excuse me. Results in me losing my war goal. Uh no. That is absolute bullcrap. Now I can still liberate Colombia this way rather than swaying them to support me. If I cared to liberate Colombia, I legitimately don't in the slightest. I have zero reason to. Are you a great power? I don't recall. You are actually considered a great power, which I think is silly, but okay. I don't know why you are a great power and the United Sovereign Archduchy isn't. They're a much larger country. I realize they don't have quite as much of the industry. I don't know what the fuck the United Sovereign Archduchy is doing that they are not a higher great power than the Free States of America. But it looks like we're doing this, which is unfortunate because I would rather not do it if I can. But oh well. So, mobilize another. Oh, you are missing a shrapnel artillery. I unfortunately don't appear to have anybody who's free to actually take that. Do I have anybody who has an extra? Um, you have an extra Lancer. Which means now I have that freed up. Okay, you raised another army. Is that gonna sway you more to maybe back down? Save us both the trouble of a war? You are, you're mobilizing a lot faster than I am, and I am not a fan of that in the slightest. our bureaucracy issue? Um, I don't think quite, no. I think I need more. Okay, more government administration. It's fine with me. Yep, nope, we're doing this. Okay. I think it's silly that we're doing this. I really think you should have backed down. Why are you trying to raise 56 conscripts? 
You should only have 50. Is the game doing something funky? No? For some reason you have 56... Okay. We'll deal with this after the war. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that's all about. Naval Invasion. Thank you very much of Panama. Use the KK Kriegsmarine. It's going to take six weeks to get there. That is fine. You should have zero issues very quickly making landfall. There are just a ludicrous number of naval invasions apparently trying to take place between France and Britain. I wish them the best of luck. Um, after this war, we will also be needing to build up the 8th German fleet so that we actually have more <laughs> naval power for doing naval invasions and the like. Um, and that's probably going to be our big priority, I think, after this war, realistically. Oh, never mind. We're uh, dealing with the bureaucracy issue now already. I was just a little bit too impatient, but that's fine. We'll survive. Uh, where is your capital, out of curiosity? Fuck, the game crashed, because of course it did. Okay, that's annoying. It seemed like I had fixed the crashing issue, but evidently it is still an issue. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of inclined to just end the series. I mentioned it before when, uh, what was it? I think part 18, I think it was, was the most recent one that I recorded after the crashing issues. I think I mentioned that that was going to be the last part if it crashed on me when I was recording that. That still largely holds true. I'm just kind of sick of dealing with it. I don't know why it's crashing. Um, we will uh, likely be back with Vicky 3 whenever the next expansion comes out, depending upon when I also have an opening in my schedule, because uh, I'm going to be replacing this series with something else. I don't know what right now, but it will be being replaced with something else. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this series, unfortunately, because the crashing is evidently still there. We just kind of got lucky the past two recording sessions. I am not sure why it decided now is the time to crash again. But, oh well. Oh well. So, unfortunately, that's going to be it for our Vicky 3 series uh, for now. We will maybe try our hand at this series again in the future. Um, but we'll probably play as somebody else the next time I do a Vicky 3 series. It's just, you know, again, we'll get around to this one. Trying our hand at it again at some point in the future. But... I will see you all next time on whatever the next series it is on the channel that you watch. Until then, goodbye and farewell.